mint is one of the easiest herbs of all to grow and that's because it sends out runners. So if you want to propagate mint you can either take cuttings or you can simply dig up an established clump, divide the clump up so that you're taking away the newest pieces of growth along with some root material and these are the plants that you plant out into the garden. We'll show you how to do it. So there we have it. We've simply pulled this piece of mint out of the ground. If you look carefully, you can see that there are some fine roots along here. You'll also see some little nodes along the stem. The section with the roots on it is going to strike very easily. All we need to do is to cut that off and put it into some potting mix and we'll show you how to do that. There are two other ways to propagate mint and we'll show you both of these as well. So the first thing we're going to do is to trim off the section with the roots. We're going to leave a bit of foliage on here and that's what we're going to be left with. We'll be able to plant that in a pot and we'll show you how to do it. We're simply going to use this pot that's got some potting mix in it. We'll push a hole down through the potting mix, put the cutting in, water it in, put it in a shaded spot and it should take off really quickly. Simply use a stick to make a hole in the potting mix, push that well down, firm in around it. We'll water that in with a little seaweed fertiliser and put it away in a protected position so it doesn't get too much sun. We won't allow it to dry out. That cutting will take off within a couple of weeks. We thought we'd show you two other ways of propagating mint. And one is simply by placing a cutting with most of the foliage removed into water. Mint will send down roots when it's placed in water. And once those roots are formed, you can simply plant it out. All you need to do is to strip off this lower foliage like that. Take these ones off as well. You can place that in the water. Remove a little bit of that top foliage which just helps a little bit with transpiration. And here we have our second way of propagating mint. We're left with our third way and it's very similar. Strip off the lower foliage. Trim off some of this to help with transpiration. Put the cutting in. Firm it in, water it in with a liquid seaweed fertiliser and again put it away in a spot where it's not going to get too much sun. And there we have it, three ways to propagate mint, one from root cuttings, one from stem cuttings and the third method by taking a stem cutting and placing it into water and waiting for that stem to start to send out roots. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the information on how to propagate herbs, how to grow flowering bulbs, trees and shrubs for the garden, or perhaps even water features, subscribe to the YouTube channel or visit the website.